The world was still recovering from the Great War. The scars of the conflict were fresh, and the memories of the battlefield lingered in the minds of many. This war had been horrific, millions had perished, and countless more were left wounded both physically and emotionally. It had been fought just 20 years before. The 1920s were a time of rebuilding and reflection, as nations tried to piece their societies back together. Many people hoped for peace, but trouble was brewing. Germany was angry. The economic and political instability of the 1930s created a fertile ground for unrest. The Treaty of Versailles blamed Germany for the Great War. It imposed harsh penalties and reparations on the nation. Germany had to pay a lot of money. Germany also lost land. People were upset. The economic hardship and national humiliation fueled resentment and anger among the German populace. In the 1930s, a man named Adolf Hitler rose to power in Germany. He capitalized on the nation's discontent and promised a return to greatness. He was the leader of the Nazi party. His vision for Germany was radical and dangerous. Hitler was a powerful speaker. His speeches were filled with fervor and nationalistic pride, captivating the masses. He promised to make Germany strong again. His message resonated with many who felt betrayed and downtrodden. Many people listened to him. Hitler had a plan. He sought to restore Germany's power and prestige on the world stage. He wanted to expand German territory. His ambitions were not limited to Germany's borders. He wanted to take land from other countries. His aggressive expansionist policies set the stage for conflict. He started by taking Austria. The annexation was swift and met with little resistance. Then, he turned his attention to Poland. This invasion marked the beginning of World War II, plunging the world into another devastating conflict. On September 1, 1939, the world watched in horror. German tanks and planes attacked Poland. This event marked the beginning of World War II. Britain and France declared war on Germany. The invasion of Poland was swift and brutal. German forces used a new military tactic called Blitzkrieg. This means lightning war in German. It involved fast attacks with tanks and planes. Poland was overwhelmed. The Polish army fought bravely, but they were outmatched. Within a month, Poland was defeated. World War II had begun. Hitler claimed that Germany needed more living space. He said that Poland was standing in the way of German expansion. Hitler also wanted to create a greater Germany. This would be a powerful German empire. Hitler believed that Polish people were inferior to Germans. This was part of the Nazi ideology of racial superiority. The Nazis believed that some races were better than others. The invasion of Poland was also a strategic move. Poland was located between Germany and the Soviet Union. Hitler wanted to control this territory. After the invasion of Poland, the war quickly spread. Germany conquered Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium and France. The Battle of Britain raged in the skies. German bombers attacked British cities. In 1941, Germany broke its pact with the Soviet Union and invaded. The Eastern Front became a scene of unimaginable brutality. Millions died in the fighting. Japan, allied with Germany and Italy, attacked Pearl Harbor in December 1941. This brought the United States into the war. The conflict had become truly global. Section 5. Turning the Tide. The tide began to turn in 1942. This year marked a significant shift in the balance of power during World War II. The Battle of Midway was a turning point in the Pacific. It was a pivotal naval battle that changed the course of the war. The United States Navy defeated the Japanese fleet. This decisive victory stopped Japan's advance and gave the Allies a strategic advantage. In Europe, the Soviet Union began to push back against the German invaders. The Red Army launched a series of offensives that would eventually lead to the liberation of Eastern Europe. The Battle of Stalingrad was a major turning point. This brutal and grueling battle marked the beginning of the end for the German forces on the Eastern Front. The Germans suffered a devastating defeat. The loss at Stalingrad was a significant blow to their military might and morale. The Allies landed in Normandy, France on June 6, 1944. This massive operation was meticulously planned and executed. This was known as D-Day. The invasion marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. It was the largest seaborne invasion in history. 
The sheer scale and coordination of the operation were unprecedented. The liberation of Europe had begun. The success of the Normandy landings paved the way for the Allied advance into occupied Europe, leading to the eventual defeat of Nazi Germany. Section 6. The End of a Nightmare. Victory in Europe and the Pacific. This chapter delves into the final moments of World War II, a conflict that reshaped the world. Germany surrendered on May 8, 1945, marking victory in Europe, also known as VE Day. This day was a monumental moment, bringing an end to years of brutal conflict on the European continent. Hitler had committed suicide in his bunker a week earlier, on April 30, 1945. His death symbolized the collapse of the Nazi regime. The war in Europe was over. Cities across the continent erupted in joy, with people flooding the streets to celebrate the hard-won peace. But Japan continued to fight. The Pacific Theater remained a brutal battleground with fierce combat and significant casualties on both sides. The United States dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. The devastation was immense leading to unprecedented destruction and loss of life. Japan surrendered on August 15, 1945 marking victory over Japan or VJ Day. This surrender brought an end to the war in the Pacific. World War II was finally over. The world breathed a collective sigh of relief as peace was restored. It had been the deadliest conflict in human history. The scale of destruction and loss was unparalleled. Tens of millions of people had died. The war left an indelible mark on humanity, a somber reminder of the cost of global conflict. Section 7. A World Forever Changed World War II had a profound impact on the world. It led to the formation of the United Nations. This organization was created to prevent future wars. The war also resulted in the Cold War. This was a period of tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Both countries had nuclear weapons. World War II changed the balance of power in the world. The United States and the Soviet Union emerged as superpowers. Europe was in ruins. Section 8. Subscribe for more. If you enjoyed learning about World War II, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating history documentaries. We regularly delve into the past, exploring key events and figures that have shaped our world. Don't miss out on our upcoming episodes.